reflect on my life and I sometimes I think about um, when the bad things happened, it was where I was trying to force things. The good things happened where I just let it flow. And uh, I'd be interested in your take on that, actually. Let's, let's, let's talk about flow because you use that word and obviously it's important to you. So enabling flow. So what do you mean by flow? Uh, flow is of the river, right? I'm not a salmon. I'm not going to fight uphill. Uh, in Taoist tradition, I, yes. I you know, was born a Jew, but I had to go study over the world's religion to see what I went and decided on. I decided more, you know, Taoist, and that's really of the river, of the flow, you know, find the current and go beyond it. If you, It's called drafting on a bike. Yep. Now, yep. Uh, Join the peloton. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, so... So if we, we talk about flow, uh, first of all, it's it's easy, much more easy to talk about than to do, right? Yes. And the discipline of uh, going where the puck is headed, as per will, uh, is not just fighting and creating your discipline. I mean, breaking every rule in the book is everything I've ever done. I don't know anything else than that. But there's a lot of ways to allow uh, truth and value to be create to be created. So when we talk about cre creating value, I really talk about not deciding, you know, in a management philosophy book that may say, are you uh, more customer intimate, lowest cost manufacturer, or most innovative? I think what we're talking about is how you can participate in the greater benefiting of all things, from your ecosystem to your team, to yourself, and to the universe, and to human rights as a whole. And so once we hit that beautiful balance, they call it a syzygy, which is the name of my foundation, S-Y-Z-Y-G-Y. -Y. You'll never remember it. But syzygy was a very, very important, wonderful word that uh, I, when I looked it up and I wanted to get it because the alignment of the celestial bodies, Jeff, the earth, the moon, the sun. And I was just fascinated with this, how cool this word was. And I looked it up and uh, funny as it may, a friend of mine uh, the ever impressionable, always admittable, amazing, beautiful man named Nolan Bushnell, the creator of Atari and Chuck E. Chuck e. Cheese and things of that nature, had registered the name inside of uh, the trademark and then it had elapsed and I somehow took it over. Well, I said, Nolan, you really got to, we got to, got to know what's behind this. The guy that made Atari and Chuck E. Cheese, I want to know why you called this Sisogy. And, uh, hey, no, and I get to tell this story. So he says, well, Tony, I said, I think you're going to have to, we're going to have to go out to dinner for this. And we're going to go to the, uh, uh, you know, that, that, that mess galleria Oaxacan restaurant you've been talking about. And we can have a serious conversation. So I got all my generals out there. We went in there and then no one came in there. And we had done it. We had two, three margaritas and the mezcal's margaritas. And eventually he says, no one. We need to know the taxonomy, the nomenclature. How the word came about, how this became the name of your first company, in or about the time that Steve Jobs was working for you. He said, I was in Palo Alto. I was right. sitting around with my friends. We were deciding what to call the company, being very serious. Right. So we pulled out a huge joint and smoked <laughs> it. <laughs> And we said, I wonder what the F, the last word in the S's is in the dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I had to buy you dinner to get that. <laughs> uh, but in that state where there's the earth, the moon, the sun that's aligning, it's not an eclipse. It's actually true value. Like it's, it's just alignment. And so aligning with your ecosystem, and I like to do it in threes, uh, allows unconditional value to come out. And if I learned that a long time ago, I'd probably be even doing better today, but I'm doing okay. Yeah. So, alignment. Alignment. Alignment.